Good morning everybody, welcome back to a brand new weekly vlog. This week, it's actually Tuesday today, didn't vlog yesterday, had pretty much an admin editing kind of day, but today I'm off to meet Lydia and we're going to go shoot some outfits. I'm photographing outfits for my charity shop haul, which will be live by now, by the time you're watching this, so I'll leave it linked. Um, but this is like going to be my first little outfit, these trousers are from Boohoo. This is actually from Primark, which I've just kind of paired with that. And then I'm also wearing my new River Island blazer, which I got in the sales for, I think this was about £35. However, I do have a suitcase full of other things to shoot, so it is going to be a pretty quick day, pretty busy day. Um, and we're, like I said, we're changing it up this time. Instead of going to Manchester, we're actually going to meet in Preston, which is like halfway for both of us, about half an hour drive. Uh, so I'm going to fill up, have a good hearty breakfast get something from booze maybe like a sausage sandwich or something so that when we get there around 11 ish i think we're meeting we're gonna crack on and get lots of outfits shot so it's now half nine if you are new to this channel i weekly vlog every sunday and i also upload content during the week so be sure to hit the subscribe button down below and come and join me and then also i leave all the links to my social media channels down below if you want to come over to any of those platforms and come say hi so let's crack on with week number 20 by 26 <laughs> getting vlogs out at the same time we just How had many a outfit three on now this is number five i think <laughs> we're being plug proper blo <laughs> we're on a marathon. being po proper bloggers today <laughs> can't even talk <laughs> over him i'm actually wearing my charity shop mns skirt for this one which is very nice same material as the trousers that i've got my little straw bag from next then we're gonna go explore preston so we are done what do you think productive finally very productive seven outfits we got through seven outfits in two hours i think mm. yeah is it yeah no just coming up for three <laughs> so we got hassled by some homeless guy asking us to buy him dinner we said no but he was following, following us and then us we were scared bit. he was gonna we were a bit well, like, why aren't the other follow. guys around us telling him, look, pal, he, they've said no, leave him alone. But anyway, I might grab something to eat for later because Tom's at cricket all night. And then I'm in this tube skirt and I'm like waddling. <laughs> I feel so silly right now. But yeah, that's our plan. Maybe check out some sales as well. I'm so glad we're done. Yeah. I might actually change back into my other outfit because I'm waddling know, in I've this skirt. This um, oh yeah, that's the plan. Cheers. <laughs> So I've now left Lydia, she has gone home and I have started heading route en route home but I noticed driving in that there was a big home sense, I don't know if you can see that, you can see the TK Maxx there but there's also a big home sense here which I didn't realise there was a home sense in Preston. So I thought I'd pop in, I literally drive right past it and then maybe grab some food from somewhere for dinner tonight. I'm actually just put on <laughs> Love Island Australia to catch up on whilst doing a bit of editing. But I also, just before I ran out this morning, got a delivery from H&M. And I also did pick up a couple of bits from TK Maxx. No, I didn't, from HomeSense. So I'll show you them in a second. The first thing I got were these pair of shoes. I love them. I actually took them with me. Like I said, I just got this order as I was running out this morning. So I took these with me and I really like them. They're just sliders with like a crossover denim-y kind of material with frayed hems. So yeah, just little mule sliders. And I also picked up a pair of white linen trousers. I got them in a size... 10 drawstring waist nice and high waisted and they are just all the way down to little cuffed hems they have these in loads of different colors they actually have a beige one with white pinstripes but i just thought they were kind of too similar to my 
pretty little thin beige ones but I do really like them I think they're about $24.99 but they are linen and then what were the shoes were they like $9.99 then I also picked up these bits from home sense I want to change up the bedding on our bed which is currently like greys and whites to more creams and beiges and whites and then move all the grey pillows and uh, throws to the spare bedroom. For our room, I picked up this throw, which is so nice. I absolutely love it. It's in this cream colored with lots of like random tassels all along it, kind of like a linen-y material. This was actually in the clearance as well, so I got this at a really good price. From $46.99, that was their original price, so RRP from wherever it was, I don't know how much it was, but it was reduced down to just nine pounds. So picked that up. I also picked up one cream cushion. This was the only decent one they had and it was $16.99 and it's got like a kind of waffle like pattern on it. So I want to pick up maybe a couple of other like beige colored linen pillowcases to put like maybe behind that one. And then I also picked up this which I thought was nice and cute for like a little basket either to go in the room with all our spare towels in or equally that it could go downstairs with a plant in or something. This was also in the clearance from $19.99, which was the TK Maxx original price, down to £11. I'm now going to unpack and tidy up all of the outfits that I've been shooting today. So hair up, slacks on, that's what I'm going with. So I'm gonna say good night for now and I will see you tomorrow. Good morning everyone, today is Wednesday. It's only half seven in the morning and up nice and bright and early because Tom had to head off to Leeds so he got up really early this morning and when he's up, I'm up. I, I'm not the sort of person that can be like, alarm goes off at half six and then Tom gets up, gets ready and everything and I'm just dozing. I'm like, I'm a morning person so I just thought, get up as well, he's just left and I'm gonna head off to the gym. I go to Pure Gym, which is 24 seven, open 24 seven, so you can go whenever. And the shops around it, there's like a Poundland, a B&M, Asda. They all open at, well, I don't know about Asda, I think Asda's 24 seven as well, but the other two open at nine. So I figured I've got about an hour and 20 minutes, by the time I actually get there, probably an hour and 15 minutes workout. So that's what I'm gonna do this morning. I want to head to B&M because I got those bits yesterday from TK Maxx to finish off this bed. Like I said, this bedding is gonna go in our guest room and then the bedding that was in there, the pillows were like old and I didn't like the style, so I've just been them. And then these ones will go in there. We've got the cream cushion, cream throw, and so I want two more cushions from B&M hopefully in like a linen beige kind of color. That's what I'm hoping for. Because this headboard, which is actually from the white company ages ago, if you actually look, I mean, it's hard to tell, but it is more of a creamy beige color than a gray. So I've changed things up in this room to kind of suit that. The wallpaper is also that creamy beige kind of color rather than gray. These boxes were dark gray. I've now changed them out to be beige. So yeah, we're slowly moving towards more of a beige rather than gray and the gray bedding can go in the spare room. I hate going out without makeup on and especially as I'm gonna be going to the shops and stuff afterwards. So I just have a tiny little bit of BB cream on my favorite one, which is Clarins, obviously. Some lip balm and mascara and I've just filled in my brows a little bit with Gimme Brow. So let's go to the gym. not a pretty face right now and it's tipping it down <laughs> ready run ah. uh. where is this rain come from 
Um, I suppose we're like the only place that hasn't had torrential rain yet. I feel good, but one thing I did forget, <laughs> my water bottle. So I was like dying in there. <sighs> Let's go to B&M Bargain. It's not far away. It's just a quick drive to a different car park. I mean, I could have walked, but this weather, <laughs> no. There's nothing in Poundland, but have you seen these? VI boo, how funny. These are the same as our ones, but in cream. I kind of want different. I don't think they have any. I think I might actually go to TK Maxx and Cole instead. picked up a dress i have a wedding coming up in a couple of weeks in london but i really was quite keen to have like a midi dress so i don't have that many midi dresses that i could choose from and i saw this and it was top shop reduced from 85 pounds to 12.99 i love boohoo pretty little thing misguided and everything like that but the quality can sometimes be a little bit compromised especially if you're only spending like 20 pounds or whatever it's like a slip dress all the way down to midi and it's got like a a-line hem there and it's got a little slit as well so it's very sexy and it's but yeah it's still like all like below my knees are covered it feels nice and thick it's got like multi-way straps as well that you can do up i actually looked online on how the straps were meant to be worn whilst i was in the changing room and it featured in harper's bazaar last year so i'm guessing it was last season's wedding dress collection because it was from the wedding dress collection like wedding guests bridesmaid that kind of thing and i'm actually really hungry after doing that workout so yeah coffee and breakfast from booze is the next plan so i think we're just gonna have to accept my hair and everything is a bit of a state right now but i've had a delivery well i actually had to come and pick it up because i missed the delivery um from selfridges so i thought i would open it up on camera with you do, do, do. get ready for festival season with selfridges edit of festival essentials first one is bleach london two posh to wash dry shampoo i love a good dry shampoo so i'm excited to try this one out this one is vegan and cruelty free and then there's a couple of like henna stickers and face gems here in your dreams and then this is Pavan Henna Bar exclusively at Selfridges London. They also have included some Swede Pro lashes. And then there is a mask in here. It's a bubbling charcoal sheet mask. I love these. So I'm, I'm excited to try this. Might give this a go actually this evening before I shower and wash my hair. Leave it on for 10 to 20 minutes and it like all bubbles up. It's really cool. In fact, I might do it on the vlog if I get a chance. And then there is also a NYX Strobe of Genius Illuminating Palette. Lovely jubbly. This one is in warm. And then also there is a bum bag, which are very in at the minute. I think it's got products inside. <gasps> it does, how exciting. Okay, inside we have an Illamasqua Color Veil Gel Blusher in the shade Tonic. Ooh, exciting. I love makeup, it gets me so excited. So that is what that looks like. Oh my God, that is creamy. Look how nice that looks. There's also some In Your Dreams Cosmetic Glitter. And then in the main pouch, there is some Swede Adhesive for strip lashes. So that can go with these. And then we have, yay, the original Beauty Blender. I have never tried Beauty Blender. I had this discussion a while ago about Beauty Blenders, how do they compare to the Real Techniques ones because they're the ones that I've used. So I'm excited to give this a try and compare the two. I'll let you know what I think. My favorite sweets, Candy Kit and Sour Watermelon Gourmet Sweets. Um, I'm not a big sweetie person, I'm more chocolate. I do really like the Candy Kittens one. And then we have an SPF 50 plus for your face. It is tinted as well, so that'll be nice for on holiday because I do think it's important to have like a higher factor on your face. I always seem to, if I just wear the same factor all over, I always seem to catch the sun on my head and on my nose. So factor 50 plus will be ideal. And then last but not least, we have from 
Too Faced Melted Metallic Liquid Metallic Lip Transformer. This is going to be like a bright colour, I feel. Oh my god, that is like <laughs> an iridescent unicorn, unicorn, unicorn colour. Look at that. Can you see? I don't even know if that's coming off on camera, but it is pretty spectacular. So if I'm going to a festival this year, I'm set. Thank you so much to Selfridges for sending me all of these goodies. I might save some of them away for an upcoming giveaway because you guys know I did that big, massive 10K giveaway on my YouTube channel. I also am probably gonna do another one when I get to 20, if and when that may be. Hopefully before Christmas, we'll see. But a couple of things I'm kind of just putting to one side just for you guys to do just to thank you really and just do another big giveaway. I've got loads of emails to get back to as well, which is always good news. So yeah, that is my plan for now and I'll catch you in a bit. So I have just had a call from Tom, he's en route back home and he's actually gonna pick me up uh, on his way because we're gonna head to the bar for, sorry, I wasn't even in shot then, I was like, hello, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> We're gonna head to the bar, our restaurant that we've got in Burnley and grab some food. He's got a couple of things he needs to do whilst he's there. So I'm probably gonna take my laptop with me Catch up with some emails, which I haven't had the chance to do yet today. And then meeting up with Lydia tomorrow afternoon in Manchester. We've got a jewellery event, a cocktail event, even though I'm driving. So I'm going to have to be like, virgin cocktail for me, please. Sun's come out finally today, which it's been pretty miserable all day. As you saw the rain earlier on when I got caught in it. So I still haven't had a chance to like wash my hair or anything yet, which is kind of gross, but I'll just do it tomorrow morning. And wearing this shirt from Pretty Little Thing, tucked into some Primark jeans. Uh, Pretty Little Thing necklace as well, Gucci belt. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take a bag. Just laptop, phone, camera. Oh, I know what I was gonna say. Um, I've just combined for the first time ever the Jo Malone Basil and Neroli and the English Pear and Freesia and the combination together I'm in love with. It's very summery and light and I feel like I'm on holiday but like an expensive holiday. That's how I feel. I love Basil and Neroli. English Pear and Freesia, I'm like give or take, like it's a nice fragrance but together, love it. My shoes always go down the back of this. I've lost it. It's gone. In fact, I might wear my satin Primark sliders tonight instead. Little final outfit update. Definitely need to sort out this room. All of these shoes here need to go. Either donate, sell, not sure yet. And then need to go through my clothes as well, which is a mission, but I need to get it done. So that's gonna be done soon. And yeah, this is the final little outfit I'm wearing tonight. Just casual, simple, less is more. You know, that's me. Come for some food. Good morning guys and welcome to Thursday. I've just put chewing gum in. I hate it when I do that and then start vlogging, I forget. So I'm gonna head into Manchester now, go meet with Lydia, but I'm actually gonna stop en route via TK Maxx and I am going to grab some food. Also check out the Zara sales because obviously sales are on and I love Zara and I haven't had a chance to look yet. I prefer going in store for Zara rather than online. So that's the plan. I'm gonna head off now. And I'll see you when I get there. Just arrived at TK Maxx and I've just realised it's right next to Pan World. So with them having gone into administration, I can see big sale signs in the uh, windows. So I'm going to have a look there as well. That Pan World was pretty rubbish actually in terms of like discounts and bargains. So I didn't get anything. Now time to shop cushions. And basically after two like beige, new, neutral coloured cushions for our room. Now in Zara sales and I'm on a mission to find Lydia. There she is at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> Just got to the top of my phone. I was like, 
Basically a match. Oh, we are, look, we're twinning. Oh, I've just grabbed a Starbucks. We've taken some pictures. Now we're heading back to the car. We just need to drop off some bags before heading to the next event. The next event? No, the first event. Well, yeah, first event. We've got two tonight. Just yeah. picked up these myself from H&M at only a pound bargain. I've been after some like abstract face earrings for a while. And these ones are in the sale. They're really Winning. Nice sold, like a nice version. Do you think? See, I thought they looked a bit oh, shit. No. But I thought for a pound. No, I like Rock it. <laughs> so yeah, that is our plan and we will see you in a bit. In a bit. <laughs> Papianos, that's where we're going. Change of plan. We're gonna go to Banyan. Our food has arrived. I went for a, oh, what's it called? Todado or something like that. It's basically like a flatbread with uh, beetroot, feta, sun-dried tomato, courgette, I think that's it, feta, rocket. But it looks yummy. It's a lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And I've got some fries to go on the side, but I think we're gonna share them. And then you've got a nice healthy little salad. We are now in the Arndale going to Colette by Colette Heyman, which is the jewellery store we're going to. Next to Monkey, which we have here, is it Monkey? Monkey? Monkey. I don't know. Um, which we have now in Manchester, which is good. We also have Victoria's Secret. Yeah. So yeah, there's balloons outside. Oh my god, look at them. They look amazing. Aww. very big in Australia it's like their Claire's accessories it's new to the UK they've got two stores in London and this is their first time venturing up north so very excited to be a part of the UK launch someone getting married unless if it's just a shoot she looks pretty do you know what they do? They still, like have fake weddings, not fake weddings, but they're already married or something. But they just like dress up and have all the pictures and. Oh really? Yeah. Like a, a sh shoot, like a show shoot? Yeah. They do that in America with like an engagement shoot as well. They have like oh, an yeah. engagement photo shoot or a pregnancy photo shoot. We're just heading back to the car now and then heading then home. home. It's an XXL, but well, that doesn't look XXL. Like, that does not look like an XXL, though, does it? So, Tom's found these major bargains at TK Maxx XXL, which you're not, but we'll make it work. £95 each, these retail at. I love Reese jumpers as well. Add to your collection. And they're what, £20 each? Bargain. What is happening to this cacti plant? It's going to be really smart. Smart. It looks like they're going to flower, it's just focused on the gravel. No, I'm pretty sure that that is all you're going to get. No, look, there's a little like flower on the inside. Oh, I can't see on here, but somehow these cactus have sprouted these growths. This one's flowered, look. And then this one, it looks like it's going to flower. Back in time for Love Island. Woo -hoo -hoo. I picked up lots of fab goodies from Colette by Colette Heyman, uh, which they very kindly gifted us. They gave us all a voucher each, which was lovely. So we basically ransacked the store, chose our favorite bits, and um, I am actually going to feature them in a little bit of a jewelry haul video because um, I've got some more new in bits that I'm loving at the minute. So I thought I would do it all within one video. But for now, I'll show you what they gifted us in the goodie bag and also the bag bits that I bought. So I did get a couple of bags, the first one being this, which was 26 pounds and it is in beige with gold hardware. It's very thin, which is what I really like about this. It does have a zip close as well, so everything is secure and safe. And it does come with a long handle as well as a... <sighs> 
bless you. And then I also got these two bags. Now they're both very similar, but they were priced differently. And I asked Lydia and Irina's opinion on which one to get. They said the more expensive one and I ended up getting both. <laughs> so I got this one, which is the one that they liked the most with this like sequin detail. It's got a tassel on the end. It's just a nice little pouch zip up purse type bag that you can just take as a little clutch or you can store handy things in. And um, in my purse specs bag, I thought it'd be quite nice to have this as like an option within that as well. This one was the more expensive one at 36 pounds. This one was cheaper without sequins on it or anything and it's 24 pounds. The tassel is slightly different as well and it is a little less dressy, bit more appropriate for daytime. And as you can see, it's just got this like embroidered floral uh, beige and white effect on it. So picked up both of those along with finally this bag, which I think is my favorite. And in fact, myself, Irina and Lydia picked up this. So we were all in love with this one. This is a little faux croc um, like bucket bag with this gold hardware. I mean, it's pretty heavy, like for such a small bag, it's very expensive feeling and it was only 30 pounds which i think is brilliant and it's also got a drawstring at the top so everything is nice and secure it does come with a longer handle as well however i'm sure i will be mostly wearing it just like so it reminds me of the simon miller bucket bags uh, which you can find on like netta porter but obviously a fraction of the price just a little sneak peek into all the jewelry that i picked up and then they also gifted us a little goodie bag with some more bits in. First of all, this like laptop case in this rose gold metallic kind of colour. This retails at uh, £18. We also... You've got one of them. What? You've got one of them, haven't you? What? It's on the couch. Get out. <laughs> wait, wait, that's my stand. Well, you Your jumpers back? are my stand. Can you bring them back to it? Yes, yeah, fine. And then they also gifted us some of these key rings. They are four pounds each. Oh, yes. Cute little candle. Oh my God, that smells amazing. Coconut mango in gold. Loving gold at the minute. Tom. Surely. Of course I did. Lovely. There is also a little brush set. Four pounds again. They did have little lip glosses in there, which I noticed as well. This is also four pounds. It's got a couple of what they called invisible bobbles. And then clips, which I literally, the first thing I do, and the first thing I will do after this clip ends is clip my hair up using these clips. Oh, hello. They always tend to go missing, so I always need more of those. And as for now, I'm gonna say goodnight. Hi guys, today is actually Friday afternoon. I was like umming and ahhing on whether or not to vlog today because I didn't really have too much interesting planned until a couple of parcels arrived. So I figured excuse this mess behind, but that is kind of the reason why. Just a couple of things. Firstly, this dress, which was from Boohoo. I love it. It's so dainty. It's really, really like deep V plunge here. Uh, I've been sat out in the garden, hence why I'm a little bit red on the chest. Um, but yeah, this arrived and I thought I would try it on and just show you guys what it looked like. It's very floaty and light, which is nice and cool and light for summer. I also had a bit more of an unusual delivery from this brand, which is called Laggy Horse. It's based in America and they reached out to me and asked me if they could send me one of their products. It's essentially a photo frame, but it's four by four inch picture frames and there's a set of 10 in black and you can kind of like link them together. So like customize them to fit your wall. So I'll leave a link to them below if you think it's something you might be interested in. Thank you so much for sending me them. And then I also received this massive envelope. <laughs> and there's actually just one product inside. Oh, one moment. There's actually only one thing inside, but it's not just any one thing. It's something that I've been waiting for that Le Maire very kindly offered to gift to me. Please find enclosed your chosen moisture texture. Let me know how you get on. So that is what it looks like. These are definitely on the pricier end. If you've tried Le Maire products before, I always sort of imagine Le Maire 
being associated with a luxury premium skincare brand. But we learn all about the different, like the background, the story behind the company, why there's a fish tank and all of that stuff, which is so interesting. So when they offered to send me one of their five main moisturizers, I was very excited to try this one. Now I've gone for the moisturizing cool gel cream, but just put, pop a little bit on the back of my hand there. And it just, as you can tell, it just, it absorbs into the skin beautifully. It's very, very light, very easy to blend in. Smells lovely and basically, I cannot wait to try that one out. It's probably the most expensive skincare brand I've ever owned. I cannot wait to try this tonight. <laughs> I'm actually really excited. Like, beauty and skincare makeup gets me so excited. Like, I really love it anyway. Hence the array of products I have in my bathroom, which maybe I should do like a bathroom tour. I need to tidy it first. I'm not going to suggest that just yet. But if it's something that you'd like to see, let me know. Good morning. Today is Saturday. We're off to Burnley to, what do you need to do? Go to the bar or something. The new one. Oh, is it the new one? All right. Um, and then I'm gonna head to TK Maxx because I'm still on the hunt for a couple more cushions for our bed. So I'm gonna have a look there for like half an hour or so, then pick Tom up, then we're gonna go for breakfast. Okay, I have arrived at TK Maxx. It's very early. My hair's a bit fluffy today because it needs a wash really. I might put it up in a bit. I'm tired. We had a late night last night after cricket. <laughs> one is 12.99 this one 19.99 so i'm just sat waiting for tom now i actually went and picked up a little diet coke just to keep me going because i don't like functioning on no breakfast in the morning that's why this kind of like intermittent fasting waiting till 10 a.m is the hardest or 10 11 depending on what time we're gonna have dinner i can eat early dinner but i struggle to not have any breakfast so I'm a bit like, woo, delirious. I went for these cushions in the end because she price matched them both for $12.99. There was one other one that I really liked, um, but it was in just an ever so slightly yellowy colored beige, which I feel like if I have too many different shades, it's probably gonna clash a little bit. So I just got two of the same, and then I've got a whitey cream colored one to go in the middle. And then the same colored, as that cushion throw. If I could find an even smaller one to go in front of them all, which is this color, that would be perfect. Oh, bless you. Come to a place called Bistro 197. Back home, we had a lovely breakfast. We're gonna now grab my laptop. What do you want to watch? You pick Frey Shorty. Oh yes, okay. No horrors. Horror you. film it is. No horrors. <laughs> We've gone for Zero Dark Thirty. I'm going to crack open this. And what have you got? Kit Kat Bites. <gasps> oh my god, I can't have all of them. I have one. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. And these. Mmm. Mm -man, mm -man, mm -mm -mm. Good morning on this beautiful sunny Sunday. We are gonna have a quick browse at a place local to us that's just opened. Well, there's two places that we're gonna have a look at. We can have a look. Um, one's a vegan and vegetarian like um, deli kind of cafe thing, would you say? And then Deli Ponte is like an Italian cafe with pastries and coffee. So try either of them, if not, Booths. And then Tom's off to play cricket. I'm gonna go round to Mel's with the girls, with Emily, Lizzie, and Mel. And we're just gonna have a nice, hopefully, day in the sunshine. And then I'm gonna head back, watch you play cricket and win. Tonight is our fave, Handmaid's Tale, and Love Island. The sun is still shining, and I'm ready to go and meet the girls now. I think we're gonna have a couple of drinks, some nice, Lunch in the sun, if I can find my keys. Okay, good to go. Come for a quick Starbucks pit stop and I've caught the sun. Just heading over to watch Tom play cricket now, so, yeah. That's green and then at the bottom it's gold and a white one. Tom's driving my car for the first time. We're gonna go grab pizza. So thank you for watching this week's weekly vlog and please subscribe 
subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you again next time. Bye guys. Mwah.